guys, so I connected with Cassie. I want you to meet her. Hi, Cassie. Hi, how are you? I'm good, it's so good to connect. Where do you live? I live in Denver, Colorado right now. It is so incredible that we can connect this way and tell me what's your place. So I own The Wandering Wagon and we're a mobile bartending company. So this is actually a horse trailer bar. So it used to be a two horse trailer and I turned it into a mobile bar. So I'm a teacher and I think it's no secret that teachers don't make a ton of money. So I knew I needed to supplement my income somehow. So I started looking into all these different businesses and I came across mobile bars and I have a horse. So I grew up riding, I have a horse here in Colorado. And as soon as I saw horse trailer bars, I was like, I have to have that. That is so amazing, Cassie, because let me tell you, I love tequila, but I'm really not great at concocting drinks. So I wanna learn from you. Tell me what we're making and then walk me through the steps so I can make it along with you. So this is a blackberry jalapeno margarita like sour and tart and sweet, and of course, spicy. I love the mix of the spicy and the sweet, and then that gardeny, fresh flavor from the jalapeno, I am just obsessed with. So we're gonna rim the glass with salt. If you are using a plastic cup, I would recommend simple syrup, because for a plastic cup, the lime juice isn't sticky enough. Okay, I'm already learning so much, and it's been just a few minutes. In your shaker, you're gonna put five blackberries. And you want five chubby, juicy blackberries. Juiciest blackberries you can find, <laughs> yes. Mm. Now we're gonna add our agave. So tell me why you like agave. It connects with tequila, especially when we're using a plata tequila. They're super agave forward tequilas, so pairing it with agave just makes sense. So we're gonna pour the agave in with the blackberries. We are going to muddle those blackberries so well. <laughs> Tell me about muddling. Yeah, we're mashing up the blackberries. We wanna mash them super, super well. So you're starting to like unlock and release the flavor of the blackberries. And now we're gonna take our jalapeno. And you can use two or three slices. And this is also kind of when your own personal taste comes to play. So maybe you like spicy and you want to leave seeds in, or maybe you don't love super spicy and you want to take seeds out. And were you trying to get like the Mexican ingredients in? Cause you have the agave, you have the tequila, you have the jalapeno. I didn't like consciously think of it that way. I just think I naturally go towards Mexican flavors. Also, it's so funny cause Centenario, I discovered when I was in Mexico. In Mexico, Gran Centenario rules. Like for Mexicans, it's what we have in our homes, what we go for, and it smells really fruity, yeah. It's like pear, citrus, herbal, but also like very direct and straightforward, which I love. So now I'm modeling the jalapenos. We're going to put in our lime juice. I have some already squeezed, but I want to squeeze along with you. I think it's the most fun part. <laughs> We're gonna grab our tequila, and I am going to do two ounces of tequila. It smells like a dessert already. Is there a particular way or anything that I should do when shaking? I put one hand on the top and one on the bottom, and I shake kind of up by my ear. <laughs> Ready? Oh, I can feel it chilling already. And we are going to use a strainer. I am going to garnish with a jalapeno and a blackberry. Yes, let's cheers. <laughs> oh, that's awesome! Mmm! This is so good. I mean, I love the color. Just looking at the color makes me so happy. It's the tart and the sour and the spicy is like a Drop, but it really makes the herbal agave notes of the tequila shine. It's beautiful, Cassie. It's happy and it's delightful just like you. Thank you so much for having me.